Welcome to the Through the Waxing Show. Today's topic is lactic acid and the benefits to using them. I will be continuing the conversation that we've been having about lactic acid for the past week. <clears throat> hey, Sunny Centuria. Welcome to the Through the Waxing Show. Today's topic is about lactic acid and how it's beneficial to your skin from what it does when you use it. <clears throat> so yesterday I gave a bunch of benefits to lactic acid and today I want to talk about uh, what it's classified as, as an exfoliant. And then how it actually exfoliates the skin and improves the skin and then some other benefits of the skin. Hey, uh, AV Sinful Lashes, welcome to the Deep Waxing Show. Welcome to the Deep Waxing Show, Fix Your Face Artistry. Welcome to the Deep Waxing Show, Ty Sky 242. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So that is the topic. So I'm going to get into announcements, which really there aren't any announcements today. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show, Jen. How do I say that? Jens McKinney is the last part. J. Hens McKinney. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. So I will introduce myself, what I do, uh, how this Instagram uh, helps you or be can benefit you and then I'll get into the topic. So welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. I am Becca, a pro waxer, skin therapist, and licensed esthetician since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, and ingrowns through full body waxing, chemical peels, facials, and products. I my own product line, which is my exfoliating pads. One of them is the acne and ingrown pads, and the other is the fruit enzyme pads. They are chemical exfoliants, which are great for sensitive skin, and what we're talking about is chemical exfoliants. We talked about it last week, this week, and then I'm going to talk about it next week as well, and probably the week after. Uh, but chemical exfoliants are really good for improving your skin. <laughs> The acne and ingrown pads and the fruit enzyme pads can be used on the face and body to improve the skin. And they're on 3bwaxing.com. Also, I help estheticians start their own product line. I've helped a lot of them start their own product line, whether it be pads or uh, soaps or whatever they want to do, cleansers, serums, all those kind of things. I've helped estheticians uh, start their own salon suite, attract clients, and improve their waxing technique uh, through my classes, courses, and eBooks. I go live giving information about skincare, waxing, and esthetician career advice uh, Wednesday through Friday at 3.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, yeah, Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you know it's Pacific because I'm in, located in California. Um, when you... So I have three email lists for... Uh, if you want to know when I go live about this kind of information, if you're interested in skincare, I think a lot of people need to be interested in skincare ingredients so you know what works for what. Um, and you don't need to know like all of the skincare ingredients, but definitely the ones that are going to help you improve your skin when you come up on different things that show up in your skin. Hey, uh, Roxy29. So, uh... If you want to know when I go live about information or send out information to your email, uh, you can join the lab. Click the link in the bio on Instagram and join the lab. Welcome to the Blue Waxing Show. Charles Dave, welcome back. Uh, if you want to know about waxing, you can join the Wax Lounge. And then if you are interested in the career advice or doing like a pick my brain call, I would recommend you join the salon team. Those are email lists that I send information to and let you know when I'm on here. And then uh, if you want specific help with your skin, you can do a skin improvement call 
over Zoom or FaceTime and that kind of thing. Hey, uh, Alu, I don't know how to say that, but welcome to the Three Blocks and Show. And then Tequila, welcome to the Three Blocks and Show. It's Tequila straight. All right, so information. Lactic acid. We've been talking about it because every week I've been talking about the three chemical exfoliants in the acne and ingrown pads. So last week was salicylic acid, and I gave you guys a love story uh, to remember the benefits of salicylic acid. This week's lactic. Lactic is also in the pads. It has 2% in the pads, and lactic acid... The reason why I wanted lactic acid in my pads and that's really what made me different when I came out with the pads because I couldn't find something that had glycolic lactic and salicylic acid all together. Um, but one of the big reasons I wanted lactic acid was to help my clients with discoloration. And lactic acid is really good for exfoliating as well as reducing discoloration. So one thing you want to know about lactic acid is that it is a AHA. That's AHA. You may hear a lot of people talk about um, AHA or, uh, uh, you know, BHAs and those kind of things. Welcome to uh, the 3 Blue Axine show. Um, people may hear, Lizzie, welcome to the 3 Blue Axine show. I don't know. Um, what the two and the threes are uh, for tequila straight um, but let me get back on track okay so you probably hear about AHAs it stands for alpha hydroxy acid so alpha hydroxy acid so when you hear AHA that's what it's the the long term alpha hydroxy acid now what is uh, alpha hydroxy acid? Hey, um, Lisa, A class faces, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Good to see you. So, alpha hydroxy acid, it is a combination of natural and synthetic ingredients that exfoliate the upper, uh, the, um, uppermost layers of skin you're welcome good i'm glad to see you good to see you uh it exfoliates like the top layer of skin and and lactic acid is considered an h a a h or a h a not h a a h a um now, the way lactic acid works to exfoliate, and this is very important, um, this is why I say that chemical exfoliants are gentle on the skin, lactic acid is very gentle and very good for sensitive skin. So if you are needing something that is exfoliating and strong, but you tend to be sensitive and have reactions to stuff, you may want to really look into, uh, you really want to look into lactic acid. Welcome to the Three Boxing Show, Sadie. Uh, thank you, Tequila Stray. Uh, welcome to the Three Boxing Show. Where is Ruthie B? Welcome to the Three Boxing Show. So, um, what was I saying about lactic acid? Okay, so the way it works is that lactic acid is basically. I wanted to do like a a visual of this but I don't have any um, visual like I didn't come up with one right away but it dissolves the glue between the skin cells so you have your skin and it's together and what it does is it it's dissolving that glue and then sloughing off that dead skin hey green eyes view welcome to the box show welcome back so basically that is what it is just uh breaking down that glue and then sloughing off whereas physical exfoliants are 
you know, physically rubbing that dead skin off so it comes off. This is, you know, going deeper. Now it's just doing the top layer. It's not going all the way deep. So it's just the top layer for lactic acid. This is why when you get a chemical pill, lactic acid pill, you may not experience a lot of shedding, like the dead skin shedding, you may not experience a lot. Some people do, some people don't, but you may not. And the reason is because it's happening on a cellular level. So that skin is coming off, but you just may not see it in large sheets like other people do. So that is lactic acid. Some other benefits of lactic acid, the main one I mentioned is the discoloration. So if you have a lot of uh, discoloration and you deal with dark spots, I highly recommend getting onto a chemical pill regimen and with the licensed esthetician and working on those, those dark spots and doing two to three session or two to three series a year. So a series would be like four to, four to six chemical peels. So discoloration is one of them. Um, another benefit of lactic acid is that it promotes cell turnover um, or cell renewal, renew well cell turnover too, but cell renewal. So you're gonna get that fresh look as you're using lactic acid consistently uh and you know that's a good reason why people love uh the pads because even if you're not a big person on a full routine just implementing the pads you're getting that fresh look with the lactic acid and then you have glycolic and solid look as well but you have that lactic acid making your skin look fresh another benefit of lactic acid that i really don't talk about i really haven't talked about much is that it stimulates collagen and we need more collagen because as we get older it decreases so some people take it internally or um find products to apply it topically but if you can increase your collagen or do things that uh stimulate collagen then you will continue to look young and refreshed and your skin will look vibrant uh and just a lot better so those are the benefits if there's any questions about the benefits of lactic acid or aha tomorrow i will be talking about the difference between aha and bha's uh and then if you are really interested in you know really improving your skin I recommend that you grab um, the free guide I created is the perfect skincare guide and that uh, is free click the link in the bio on Instagram at 3B waxing grab that and it goes into different skin types there are and then also how to find products for your skin type so you are addressing your skin type and having the best results then from there, I would uh, encourage you to see which exfoliating pads work best for your routine. The acne ingram pads are a lot stronger than the fruit enzyme pads, even though the fruit enzyme pads are still very strong. And then we can work together uh, doing skin improvement calls and skin consultation calls for your, uh, improving your actual routine. Because you do want to start getting some type of routine so you can you know improve your skin your skin what it looks like in two years is going to be a combination of what you've been doing consistently and my job is to make sure you are understanding what you're putting on your skin knowing the ingredients and um Knowing the ingredients and picking products that do not have a lot of preservatives. So the brand 3B Waxing products do not have preservative, <clears throat> harmful preservatives. Uh, PCA and SkinScript are the other 
companies that I retail and that I stand behind as far as recommending them to my clients because they have good ingredients in them. So if there are no questions, then that is all I have for the show today. Um, thank you for those who joined. I will give like a minute just in case there's questions because last time there was questions and um, I was getting off um, as they were showing up. But I highly recommend that, you know, we're talking about chemical exfoliation right now, that you start looking into that. Uh, for the people who have been mes messaging me lately, it's been questions about you know improving their acne and discoloration but I haven't heard much about chemical exfoliation and chemical peels and those kind of things and that's what's really going to be the turning point for a lot of you who are struggling with that and have not looked into chemical exfoliation so I recommend you do that and again if you are using chemical exfoliation like the pads or um anything that is chemical exfoliation then you want to be wearing sunscreen spf 30 or above in the daytime if you're going out um, because you want to protect that new skin that is coming through because remember uh lactic acid is pulling apart that glue that holds the skin cells together so it'll slough off that dead skin. And when that new skin is coming through, it's beautiful, it's young looking, um, you know, the collagen is increasing, you want to protect it from the sun. And then especially if you are working on hyperpigmentation, you want to be protecting the, the dark spots that you're working on as well as the new skin that's coming through you want to get all that pigment out so that is all I got for today uh, make sure you get the perfect skin guide and get your pads and I will see you tomorrow we'll be talking about the differences between AHA and BHA because remember today I mentioned and talked about a AHA and how it stands for um, alpha hydroxy acid so have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow.